boom, shakalaka, we are actually, finally, oh my god, just two days late, actually back, back for some more FM. <laughs> Quite exciting, and uh, yeah, I mean, spoiler alert, I guess, I um, guess you can see who I'm playing for the first, well, for the first, uh, like, full game uh, save, I don't know, I'm just mumbling my words, I haven't been doing recording for a while, like, so, uh, yeah, <sighs> but uh, yeah, we're finally back, and uh, of course the game came out two days ago, the actual full release, and uh, back then I was, the day before I got super ill, so I couldn't talk, that was fun, then the actual day that it came out, I injured my thumb, so I could barely move my bloody mouse, so that was fun, I mean it still hurts, but uh, we gotta persevere, at least now I have a bit of voice, um, or maybe I sound a bit hoarse, but uh, yeah, Oh, this is exciting. New series. So, yeah, let's roll the brand new intro that's definitely, definitely completely new. I haven't just stolen it from someone else, uh, some some other series. So, uh, yeah, watch it. Watch it. Greetings, friends and foes, and and everything, I don't know, foes, I don't know, all the F things, uh, yeah, welcome, my name is, well, as you can see here, as I'm pointing to the screen, because I'm very, very pro at this, Frank, but uh, yeah, are you crazy, I guess, you can call me Frank, you can call me Mr. Sequenson, you can call me the Spurs manager, it does have a good ring to it, right, uh, I noticed, by the way, of course, this is my first time actually playing the real game now, that it's still Nuno Espirito Santo, Espirito Santo, He's still the actual manager. I thought they would have changed it. Uh, but uh, no. We are indeed starting as Tottenham. Of course, I am a long-time Tottenham fan. So that is very exciting indeed. As this is looking strange. Okay. What? Well, can you... Oh, my lord. Already having technical issues. Because, of course, this thing is never going to get fixed. It's... What the actual fudge is that? Why is this one so big? I mean, okay, okay. I didn't know I had to do this much admin already, but uh, holy macaroni. But uh, yikes, we are indeed Spurs. And what is the aim? Well, the aim is to get shots on target because that is apparently something that Nuno Espiritu Santi Domino Esperato or whatever the heck it is they say, all that he struggled with so what i want to do is just get one shot on target for each game and anything else is a bonus really let's be real that is a bonus i think we'll have done really well if we get shots on target uh but uh oh i'm pretty excited uh speaking of like i just want to check 15 million oh yeah oh yeah let's see let's see then of course there was an option to just do the newcastle one as well and i actually did a poll i'm a member of like fm group on facebook and stuff but uh People really wanted to see the Spurs one, I guess. <laughs> Everyone is bored of bloody Newcastle save, so it doesn't make sense. But let's let's just see how rich we're going to get, because I already see a few. Oh, Newcastle. Well, we're not saying, say how you be at. Ndombele, Newcastle, Newcastle, good, good. Bergwin, Leicester. Come on, Leicester. Why are you getting involved? So it's actually only two players that are uh, that are wanted by Newcastle. That's uh, That's quite a shame. Of course, the aim of the series is just literally to win everything, right? Everything. Everything. And with the help of my Danish brethren here. Speaking of Danish brothers, by the way, one I have a little tiny pet project that I definitely want to... Oh, uh, if I could even spell it, of course. But um, spelling is sometimes difficult. Uh, this is going to be my little pet project. I mean, let's by all means scout him. Um, put him on the shortlist immediately, indefinitely. I want to bring my... My good dear friend, Mr. Christian Eriksen, back. He is unavailable for a year. That's not great, but let's see what happens. I mean, next summer, that's definitely going to be the aim of the game. Bring back Christian Eriksen. Of course, if you've been living on the moon for the last year, well, first of all, how was it? Probably cold, I don't know. Full of cheese? I don't know. Full of aliens? I don't know. Anywho, of course, with the whole... <sighs> Euro Cup, which as a Dane was pretty intense, not gonna lie, it was pretty up and down emotionally, and uh, of course this man is, I, I wouldn't say to blame for it, it's not like it's his fault, but it's kind of due to him, and uh, whew, well, at least the guy is uh, in good spirits now, And uh, but uh, yeah, he can't play, and I, I don't know if this is in the game actually, but he's not allowed in real life to ever play in Italy, while well, he has that 
pacemaker thingy majiggy i'm not a doctor but i do know that but um so he's, he's gonna in real life he's gonna have to find a new club and there's talk of ajax and stuff but i think we should bring him back to his glory days of course at spurs just an incredible player for spurs right i think we should try and get him back i'm actually curious i wonder if he's on like um uh, is he like favorite personnel or anything where where do you even see that oh it's here is he on there i don't see him he's not even like on favorite personnel or anything that's a shame gareth bale is though michael dawson hmm. anywho well we're gonna make him an icon then we're gonna make him a spurs icon and uh it's going to be quite the challenge because, of course, uh, let's see. What are the season previews? Oh, we're actually, well, we're actually predicted to finish fifth. That's quite shocking, I would say. Newcastle are finished, uh, predicted to finish eighth. I assume that's because they are billionaires now. Uh, otherwise, they would probably be around the bottom. Um, but yeah, that should be fun. Of course, Kane is in there, and this save is pretty much all about making Kane great again. Uh, something that Mr. Espiritu Sancto, Domino Patre, uh, whatever his name is, certainly wasn't able to do. Um, which hopefully Conte can do now in real life. Um, but now, it's, in virtual life, it's my job to make him... Well, make him do what these numbers suggest he should be doing, right? Because he is incredible, let's be real. Um, good at penalty taking, at least, but not. He is incredible, and need to get him firing get him firing and oh there's a random cat walking about okay that was weird but then of course his his friend and partner in crime who attribute wise he doesn't like he has a lot of low ones now i think was he a bit nerfed statistically or something i don't know but he's still just world class and he elite winger yes i agree uh either footed well good for him but i, I assume he's actually this is a weird thing to do or oh, very strong on both legs legs on both feet um so it should be excited of course we have emerson's royale from barcelona my other favorite team i guess so we have to use him loads i'm sure about and basically i'm gonna try and sell half the squad to newcastle and then we will see what we bring in basically i actually I tried a little bit of a Spurs save in the beta. I don't know. I got a bit bored of it already in the transfer windows and stuff. But uh, of course, this is going to be a long-term save. I can't just back out now. Why is this one? This is really annoying me. Why is this one, this particular one, so big compared to all the other? Like that. That is that's hurting my OCD. Colini. I might have to just get rid of him just from that fact that this thing is way bigger. To be fair, Kane's is bigger as well. I'm not quite sure. This, by the way, this thing, isn't it always just rubbish? It's so annoying to do. And then, oh, you move one thing and it all kicks off and then you can't move them back and all sorts. But, uh, whew. okay, I'm just rambling now. Literally rambling. Of course, this is just the, well, this is basically the intro, intro music, I was going to say, but the intro video just to say, hello, I'm alive. I also hope you are alive. Let's all be alive. And, uh, Christian Eriksen alive, so let's all gather here, at least next year. But let's all, it's like, everyone's alive, let's meet here in North London. Uh, not the other part of London, in the north bit, at New White Hart Lane. Is that even what it's called? I think so. Anywho. <sighs> so what else? What else is there even to do? Staff definitely needs a good overhaul. By the way, I'm going to show you something that's, well, I guess this is me testing it now as well. Uh, but something that was incredibly, ooh, incredibly OP during uh, during the beta is now doing scout uh, coaching and stuff. What, what, what? Hang on, I need to use my brain here. I can't talk and do it at the same time. So what you do is right. You want the best coaches in the bloody world. What you do is you go in and you search for head of youth development, and then you find players, players, staff. Actually, some of them seem to have been nerfed a little bit but i mean for instance this guy look at his training uh, like attributes now he only has nine di level of discipline but approach to time let's see if we can do it he's even willing to come as an under 23s coach that means that he can train the first team as well as the under 23s right you always have it especially in the beginning like i only have nine coaches so i can only have nine coaches so we need two fitness and two goalkeepers at least so 
just the fact that you can get these incredibly overpowered personnel like vgens like this guy motivation like those the three you want to go for right? determination discipline motivating if those three are great then it almost doesn't matter what's here he's going to be incredible of course the higher the better but this is guy this guy is definitely going to be four four and a half star right get him in as a coach i mean by all means i'll check if this guy wants to as well under 23 is coach he's happy with that like just imagine that is incredible so that is a little um a little hack for you guys out there um yeah scout for head of youth development you can even can you even do the other ones like for instance director of football i if it's a, a region maybe but nah they're not very good but like yeah so so just ignore that but co uh, scouting for head of youth development and just making them your coaches is incredibly powerful like this guy okay he says he's five star let's see sadly his level of discipline is not very good but like mercenary i don't want this guy as a head of youth development even though he has yeah working with youngsters yeah but so does you know adam johnson and stuff so i don't want that but coach he's more than happy to be my coach i will say they definitely nerfed them a little bit their mentals used to be in absolutely incredible like they would have 20 20 20. these guys are a bit more well-rounded and this guy i think is a real a real dude in real life right yeah he is like he's pretty incredible as well so there's a little tip for you if you struggle with finding coaches that like world-class coaches once you hit the like the premier league and stuff right you want the best of the best and uh, this is one way of getting them like it is unbelievable but uh whew, that is a lot of talking i actually i was proper exhausted after talking that much but uh oh i mean of course i'm gonna have to sit here for like five hours now and picking all these stats i'm gonna have to do some transfers then we're gonna come back play a match here and there uh this was basically just me saying well howdy and then you say howdy back and I, yes yes see there you go there you go a great conversation here that was incredible i loved it i loved it and um, not awkward at all no and not forced at all either so <sighs> wooza 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 this is me saying this is the save we're gonna do i'm gonna have to well click buttons for five hours and not press continue yet um and uh yeah and then i shall be back with another episode where we take a look at some hopeful transfers i've made and hopefully lots of sales because uh, let's be real there's a lot of dead weight in this team like dire is just yeah he is pretty dire let's be real um i would in dombele do you really trust him i don't know i don't know hoibia he is definitely safe he is my danish viking brethren and he is just great just great and i will say regulon as well i love him in football manager he's just such a consistent performer so he's probably safe as well i would love to get rid of loris he only has one year on his contract but i don't think anyone is going to bother buying him so hmm, who knows what do you do with ali see ali has been proper nerfed right remember a few year years ago he was incredible right his attributes were fantastic he's still decent right well it's a it's a gonna be a, quite a struggle uh and i don't really know what to do i guess that's the fun bit right figuring out what it actually ends up what i end up doing so uh yeah Whew, if you watch this intro basically um yeah be sure to watch the next one press like subscribe all that because tomorrow i will come back and we will take a look at all the dealings that i have done at least the initial ones i don't know if i'm gonna make it all the way to transfer deadline day but we're definitely gonna have something to show you so yeah i hope you're excited because i am definitely excited and uh, now the real work starts so uh thanks for watching and uh till next time stay safe and all that wears